so thanks for tuning in tonight. These should be some interesting games. Uh, the first game playing, of course, for University of Houston is PZ Snake Snipe, as I mentioned, one of our best players. He is a Terran. He usually he can st he still randoms occasionally, still occasionally, but it's pretty rare. And um, really good player. I'm gonna change the color over there to the yellow Protoss. Yeah, there we go. So rocking his school colors over there. It <laughs> looks like Marinator, the yellow of Saint Olaf, which uh, I'm gonna go ahead and transition to the game screen. But uh, they have a bad ass lion as their mascot, which. University of Houston has a cougar, but their lion has a halberd, which seems like it's a little OP. Um, <laughs> I'll have to see in this game one here, starting up. Anyway, as I was saying, Snix, one of the better players for University of Houston. But then this week, the other games are all going to be played pretty much by non-standard lineup for University of Houston, which is pretty exciting um, to get those other guys playing. Uh, Collegiate Star League is all about all the players you know, they go to a school playing and having a good time and enjoying StarCraft, so it's great that uh, this week we can enjoy having some of the other players play. So, good for them. I'll be casting some guys I don't usually cast. And this is MLG Dual Site. We have Marinator over on the left-hand side of the map as the yellow Protoss for St. Olaf University again. And PZ Snick Snipe on the right-hand side of the map as the always pink uh, Terran here for University of Houston. And nothing uh, crazy so far. A little bit. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say that was an early probe scout, and he's dropping a proxy now. So maybe two gate aggression proxy. And there's an interesting two gate build actually, where you drop a proxy pylon, start your two gates, and then run up, and you drop a pylon like right here, so it disallows the Terran from being able to wall off. And that makes the Zealots much more effective. So we'll have to see if that's actually what's coming up. It wouldn't surprise me. And he's about to drop his second. There he goes. Second. So we'll have to see how Snicks' is, uh, anti-cheese is. Looks like he's already started up a refinery and is not walling off yet. And here comes that probe. And I bet it's going to drop that pylon. Oh my goodness. We'll have to see. Here it comes. It has enough. Is it going to drop a pylon? No, it's gonna harass. Oh, snakes! You need to scout, bro. We'll have to see. This is not the most dangerous situation for a Terran. If he had dropped that weird pylon right there, blocking it off, that's where it becomes a massive issue. So I have to see if Snakes is gonna wall this. Wall it, Snakes! Come on. Wall it up. Wall it up. Wall it up. Oh, he's scouting. Oh, and he's dropping a reactor first. He's not even going to have a marine to drop into a bunker. And he's starting a second barracks, so not the worst situation. And he has to Base see that zeal coming by. Attack. And he does. He's going to drop a supply depot right away. Very nice reaction there out of Snicks. Perfect reaction. It's exactly what you want to do. And now that this uh, probe sees this wall, he may just cancel this off entirely. Your probes are under attack. So, good reaction out of Snicks, and here comes Marinator Zeals. Now these Zeals can deal a ton of damage to these supply depots, especially if there's no... Oh my goodness, there's nothing there to repair. Big pull though, and might bring that back. Very nice to that mule. And now they're splitting damage between two supply depots. Snicks might bring over some SMDs. It looks like he'll be able to hold this just fine, and these Zeals are going to have to back off if they're going to die. So this has been aborted, and looks like Snicks, Snicks' SCV has decided to pull all the probes almost with it. There's an odd probe kind of chilling in the back here, another pylon being dropped. And no gas being picked up. I kind of want to transition to a gas cyber core at this point, and just kind of move into a normal build. And Snicks dancing up on the top of the ramp here, kind of taunting. And uh, this flight is supposed to go. And that's a lot of things. A lot of the um, things on the other side of this though, it's going pretty fast, one of goes down, it's the second one that's falling over, it almost goes down, and Snake's holding that wall further, he needs to drop some more supply depots, he has capped himself, getting concussive shells, and starting up our Marauder, Snake looks like he's going to counter this early aggression with some of his own, all he really needs to do is stroll down here and take out this pylon to disable all of the power of Protoss. And the simulator going down, the cybernetic score going down, so he's going to try transitioning in 
stalkers, but he is pretty far behind on his SCV count. Factory going down here for snakes. And there's Play Depot getting a nice little army of marines there. And once he gets a few more marauders with concussive, he can kite those zeals all day long. All he has to do is have an equal number, or not even equal, almost equal number. And then the marines will pick off whichever ones are actually not getting slow because they'll be the ones in front. So it makes a pretty easy little combo package there with pure zeal. Stem starting up for snakes. Lots of things. Chrono boost going down, second gas being taken by Marinator. And he still does not have any warp gates back home. He has capped himself again. That one is almost done. Six is moving out, trying to clear out, see what's going on out here. And his little patrol of Marines and a Marauder might get surrounded and killed, actually. We'll have to see the reaction from Marinator. And there it goes. He's going to be able to stop these Marines. Might just looks like Snakes is bringing his army back together, and Marinator has backed off again. Snakes moving in there. Looks like Banshees, maybe Raven. Not sure. Not sure what his exact plan is over there. More supply depots. Keep it unblocked. Snakes done a good job with that. Taking a point of damage, and the stalker gets the first hit. GG by Marinator. The game one goes to Houston with some mana mills at his stats there at the end. So stay tuned. Game two should be coming up here in just a little bit. I'm not sure if all the players are on, but we'll have to see. And this is Lokazi casting for you, University of Houston CSL.